Hi, I'm Robin Williams. This is my daughter, Zelda Ray Williams. Um, hi, I'm Zelda Williams. Zelda, this, this story about you. Yeah. <laughs> what a great name for a girl, Zelda. From what I've been told, um, they were playing Zelda when, I was, when my mom was pregnant with me. Who thought, uh, because we were playing the game uh, Legend of Zelda at the time, I bought one of the first Nintendo systems and brought that home with a, a very large TV and set it up. It was Le Zelda, and it was amazing because it was just, at the, it was, it's addicting. I was playing it for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I think both my parents really liked the name, and so it just, it stuck. A lot of people come up and say, she named after F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife. No, <laughs> it's Zelda for The Legend of Zelda. Where I was in grade school and girls made fun of me for it. And I was like, ah, oh, Mom, I'm going to change my name when I'm 18. And then I, I ended up loving it again. And it, it's constantly, people are like, that is the coolest name ever. So I actually really enjoy it. You're lucky you're not named Mario or Luigi mm. or, Sh or Samus. Because it would have been Peach if you were And Peach is a terrible name. Oh, no, for Peach would be a rough name for a girl. <laughs> but I would have seen no end to the torment yeah. for that one. Better than Ocarina or Epona as well. Epona, yeah, that would be fun. That would be a bad one. I'm named after the horse. Oh, creepy. Oh, creepy. Creepy, creepy. What I think the they just liked the name for a little girl, and it's a princess as well, so. When Zach said her name, Zelda went, oh, what a great name. <laughs> it's magical, as she is, which is pretty amazing. I loved um, Epona a lot. It was one of those games where definitely as a little girl that was like the cute thing. I liked the graphics a lot and I liked the gameplay a lot. Oh, oh I miss this game. Fabulous. That's what I remember. Cutting the bushes. It's awesome. Actually, uh, am I wrong or did they improve the graphics so that it looked even cooler on here? Because I don't remember them looking like this sharp in the old game, it's amazing. I haven't played the one on the 3DS yet. We played like for five minutes today and I was addicted to it. The exploration of the world and it was a lot of puzzles. Like talking to all these random people. As a kid you don't realize that they're not gonna, they're eventually gonna run out of new things to say. Like they'll just start repeating it again. You could either spend an hour cutting grass, which was not something I wanted to do. And the boulder's still here, so this was a useless way that I could possibly die. It's amazing. It's, you know, it's the same game but it looks better oh i can't break the pots in this person's house that's mean i want to i'm fascinated and looking forward to playing with the ocarina when i get it wait oh i won yay spent a lot of time hacking bushes as i remember that that's what i said too <laughs> a lot of times just going and finding out oh there's a there's a no oh, there's a dungeon and then you find out all that thing about where you and the world and pushing aside walls you especially in the mazes where you push a wall and then another wall would open up. Ocarina had the cool, the instrument was kind of shaped like the controller as well, <laughs> which I loved. All these puzzles and the idea of anything could be moved and objects in the world could be moved. I always thought Link was like this adorable little kid. I had, I had a friend who looked a lot like him, although Link doesn't really have a mullet. I had a friend when I was growing up that had like the blonde hair mullet and like the cute big ears. He looked like an elf. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me, do you, woman? <laughs> Go again. <laughs> It just merged our faces while we were sitting next yeah. to each other. It just turned her into a really scary elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.